As many of you may know, the amount of airflow in your PC can make or break it. Even if you have a giant heat sink or a giant radiator, if there's no airflow to dissipate that heat, your PC is going to overheat. So typically, you dissipate that airflow uh, uh, heat with fans. As you can see here in my case, we have two fans drawing in cold air, moving it through the system, cooling off the motherboard and VRMs and other components like that, and then exhausting it out the back through my AIO. But today, we're going to be doing something a little different. Instead of fans, we're going to be using the legendary Dyson V7 vacuum with 107,000 RPM, which is faster than an F1 race car. So we're going to start with some baselines. If you come over here, you can see right now we're idling at 41, 42 degrees-ish uh, at 4% utilization. Oh, it actually just spiked up there, but we were at 4 or 5% utilization. We're going to be running two different stress tests. One Prime 95, which I think we're going to run for 10 minutes, maybe. Um... And then we have we also have Intel burn tests. So we're gonna go ahead and get Prime 95 started up here. Your options, torture test. Then we're gonna go ahead and start it. As you can see, our CPU just jumped up to 100% utilization, and we're now uh, temperatures are going up 65, 66 on the package. So we're gonna let that run for 30 minutes, and then we're gonna come back. Just watched was me two days ago. Um, don't pay attention to the fact that I'm wearing the same clothing. I swear I washed him. But in that last test, uh, it ended up crashing. So over the last few days, I've been messing around with the clock speeds and voltages, and I seem to have got it somewhat stable. I've only ran a 40 minute stress test, but the temps were fine and there was no crashing or anything like that. So if you come on over here, you can see we're idling around 40, 39 degrees at the highest, looks like 43, 42. So like I said in the last clip, we're just going to go ahead and run Prime 95. We're going to be running it for 10 minutes, and we're also going to be running Intel burn test. Um, before we go on, I'd like to make some disclaimers. My processor is overclocked, but we are going to be running the same clocks, the same voltages on both tests. So that shouldn't affect anything. My room is set to 24 degrees Celsius, and that will be set to that for both tests. Uh, like I said, we're going to be running one 10-minute Prime 95 test and one Intel burn test, and we're going to be taking the average and the max for Prime 95 and just the max for, max for Intel burn test. All right, so let's go ahead and open up Prime 95. And we'll start that test. All right, so we've been running a Prime 95 test for about 10 minutes, and we hit an average of about 75. We're kind of just eyeballing the average because I don't really have any way of actually recording the average, but it was about 75, and sometimes it would dip down to the high 60s and then up into the low 80s. But we hit a max of 83, and now we're going to go ahead, run the Intel burn test. We're going to go uh, with 10 runs. And we're just going to record the max temperature we hit for this. This should get a little bit hotter than our Prime 95 test, uh, about 20 degrees hotter. Um, so we're going to come back after this test is complete. So we just completed our Intel burn test. We hit actually a lower max temperature. Uh, I think it was 81 degrees. Yeah, 81 degrees. So we actually hit a lower max temperature of 81 degrees, which is surprising to me. But it shouldn't really matter because we're going to be running the same tests using... Thy vacuum cleaner. All right, so we're gonna go ahead, uh, shut down my PC, and we're gonna uninstall the radiator and strap the vacuum to it. I haven't really uh, put much thought into actually installing the vacuum onto the radiator, um, but I've got a funnel uh, and some duct tape. Um, what can't you do with a funnel and duct tape? I mean, like you can like like all sorts of different things. Alright, now that we've got the radiator out, we're just going to find a way to kind of 
jank the vacuum cleaner to it, and then we'll start doing some tests on it. Uh, as you can see, took the radiator out. I uh, accidentally lost one of the screws, but that's no big deal. Just going to go ahead, take this fan off first, and then we're going to replace that with a vacuum cleaner. All right, so we got the fan over here. We got our fan removed from the radiator. We're going to go ahead and kind of jank up a method for attaching the vacuum cleaner. Like I said, I got this funnel here. It might act like kind of a duct. And I was thinking that we could kind of tape it here like this. Uh, not really sure how that's going to work. I'm going to go ahead and get some tape. Ah, uh, yes, duct tape and the solution to all of life's problems. Oh, it probably wasn't the best way to do things. Uh, that somewhat lined up with the whole. Oh God. Oh, no, oh, no. Oh. It's on there now. Wrap that up with a bit more duct tape. Really help that. Got a nice strong hold there. Just wrap that up. There we go. All right. Now we have the the suck the suckmeister nine thousand. I think the suckmeister needs a little bit of a test. So I think we have the perfect candidate here. Ben, yeah. would you like to give the suckmeister a bit of a, a bit of its uh, first test? <laughs> Lift up that shirt, Benny. <laughs> Lift up that shirt. All right, you ready? You ready? No. I'm gonna suck your innards out. You ready? No. Three, two, two, three. <laughs> All right, thank you, Ben, for that glorious demonstration of the Suckmaster 9000. We're going to go ahead and uh, I guess we're just going to duct tape it to our radiator. Um, if I can get the actual duct tape. And then we're going to be running, like I said, a uh, 10 minute Prime 95 test. And then 10 cycles of a uh, uh, Intel burn test. Okay, now that we got that quite beautifully taped on there just do a little bit of an airflow test all right that's nice we actually do have air flowing through that uh so i guess we'll just go ahead boot up the system make sure that everything's running just fine and then we'll start a 10 minute test all right so as you can see here we got the system booted up we're actually seeing somewhat reasonable temperatures around 38 39 we hit 40 yeah 40 degrees these are actually pretty reasonable temperatures our idling with the case closed up was 41 degrees celsius so this is actually lower we don't even have the vacuum running right now so most of the heat is either being just dissipated off the radiator or um is being dissipated because the there's no panel on the side of the system anymore so there's a lot of fresh air coming in so i guess we should just go ahead and start a prime 95 test uh and see what happens. All right, run. All right, as you can see, we're at 100% utilization. I guess we're gonna start up the vacuum now. All right, so I guess we'll come back after 10 minutes and see what our temperatures are. All right, so as you can see, the system's working pretty perfectly. We have our AIO here, duct tape to a vacuum. Vacuum's on. We have a stress test running, 100% utilization. We're actually getting pretty decent tips. 62, 63, uh, high 50s is actually really good. It's only been running for about two minutes now, but it's actually pretty amazing. All right, so we're about halfway through our test here. Still running perfectly fine. Our temps have increased slightly. As you can see, we're about mid 70s, high 60s, uh, which is about the same, um, if not a little higher. And our last test of the AIO. Um, this is actually pretty surprising, at least for me. I didn't expect a on a vacuum to get these sort of temps. Uh, we're about halfway through, so I don't know. They might start rising in a few minutes. All right, so it's been 10 minutes. We're going to go ahead, turn the vacuum off here. 
this tape off. All right, so it's been 10 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop the stress test. All right. So we actually saw some really surprising temps. Um, we averaged about 70-ish degrees and only hit a max of uh, around 79. So it's actually quite surprising. This is actually uh, lower than what the Prime 95 test was with my standard radiator cooling. So we're going to go ahead and run an Intel burn test. And then after that, I have one more trick up my sleeve. Max. As you can see here, we just finished up our Intel burn test. We only hit a max of 76 degrees, which is actually really good. Our um, last Intel burn test with just our stock cooler, um, or well, our, our baseline, we hit a max of 81 degrees. So it's actually surprisingly good, and we're actually getting a lot of airflow here through our radiator. Um, but I have one more trick up my sleeve. We were just running that on the minimum setting, but there's also a maximum setting. So we're going to go ahead and try that. I'm going to do the same tests, 10 minutes prime 95 and the one Intel burn test. We're going to come back at you with the results. All right, we got prime 95 running here. Now we're on the max setting for our vacuum cleaner. We're going to run this for 10 minutes. We're going to come back with our temps. All right, so we're back. Unfortunately, we weren't able to run the full length of the test. We only were able to run it for about two minutes. Um, the vacuum cleaner ended up dying. But we did actually see some pretty amazing results. Uh, we had about an average of 68 degrees, which is really great. On the last test, we were had an average about 70. Um, and then on our baseline, we had an average of 75. So there's definitely an improvement using a vacuum cleaner which really surprised me. Um, I didn't expect that. Um, while our testing isn't perfect, um, there's probably a bit of airflow coming in from these fans here on the front. It's good enough, and I think the results speak for themselves. Um, in conclusion, if you can strap a vacuum cleaner into your computer, I would highly suggest you do it. All right, thank you all for watching. Um, Remember to like, subscribe, comment down below if you want to see me try it again on max settings, and I'll see you all later.